Since the DDoS attacks which have made Titanfall 2 unplayable, the community has been desperately pleading for a way to host our own custom servers. Either that, or to have Titanfall servers receive some serious updates in order to prevent the hackers from ruining the game. Unfortunately, we didn't see either, and the hackers continued to destroy our game with no intervention from Respawn. And things weren't looking too good for Titanfall fans. But thanks to the genius mind of Bob the Bob, we finally have our wish and can play Titanfall 2 again on our own custom servers. The North Star client just released last week, and it is a dream come true for many of us, myself included. It has consumed my life. Not only can we host our own custom servers with no chance of crashing or disconnecting, but we are also given the tools to adjust the game settings in some crazy ways, which is something I've always wanted to see in Titanfall. So you could imagine my excitement when I first found out about the North Star client. I'm going to devote a lot of this video talking about my personal experience with the client and what I think about it overall. But if you just want to see how to install the client, skip to this timestamp. So what do I think? First of all, I feel it's necessary to state that this mod has received numerous updates since it's released. Mostly bug fixes, but there have been a few notable additions, such as a browser overhaul and a custom play account. At the time of writing the script, update 1.3.0 just released, so I'm going to be basing my opinion off that version. When I first loaded into the North Star client, the first thing I immediately noticed was that all my levels had been reset to level 1. But thankfully, all the tacticals, weapons, titans and attachments are all unlocked right from the start. That's right, you don't need to go through an excessive level grind so you can play Holopilot with the softball. This is a brilliant move by Bob, as it allows players to truly enjoy Titanfall the way they want to. For newer players especially, since they'll have a larger sandbox to experiment with. We are also given full freedom to visually express ourselves, since all the camos, prime titans and war paints come unlocked right from level 1. Now that's all well and good, but how do the servers run? Well ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to report that in my time playing the North Star Client, I have experienced zero crashes or disconnects. Everything runs smoothly, and I have to applaud Bob for achieving this. Long gone are the days where we have to worry about disconnecting from a match as soon as we join. The base game of Titanfall 2 never had custom browsers, so the inclusion of it in the North Star client is completely new for me. As you load into multiplayer, instead of matchmaking, you browse through a list of open servers that you can join, hosted by other players around the world. But unfortunately, this is where I encountered my first big problem. For the first few days of the client's release, I couldn't join a server without getting over 400 ping, because no one was hosting on Australian servers. Since then, there have been a few more servers which I could join, but still, the majority are all American or European servers, which is a big problem for someone like me, since hosting your own servers is a real hassle. Now I get it, this is just a mod and capabilities are limited. I'm not going to pretend like I know the ins and outs of modding, but there has to be an easier way to host a server, or even just a private lobby. In game, you can't even invite friends, so if you want to play with friends, you both have to find the same server to join. Now this actually has gotten easier in the recent update, now that you can search for servers directly. But another common bug that I've come across is that even though some servers say they have open player slots available, if you try joining them, you'll be kicked out back to the main menu with a message saying that the server is full. And from what I've seen, other people have had the same issue. I'm sure it's a problem that can be fixed in an upcoming patch. Maybe at the time of writing this video, an update has already come out fixing this problem. But the bigger problem that I'm trying to get across is that if you're a casual gamer, you might not have the ability to host your own custom server and so playing with friends becomes much more difficult than it needs to be. But the fact that we can even host custom servers in Titanfall is nothing short of a miracle. Especially since Bob went a step further to deliver us some very interesting settings to change the game. First of all, all the exclusive time game modes are now available, including Free For All, which I notice has become a very popular game mode on the North Star client. Almost every server that I joined recently has been Free For All, and I have to say, it is fun as hell. North Star also features some custom game modes, including Gun Game, Titan Tag, Kill Race, Infection, and Fastball, which very quickly became a fan favourite. And if I'm being honest, it's probably the biggest highlight out of all the custom game modes. It is a round-based game mode where you start off the game with BT delivering you to the map via a Fastball. From there, your team must hack all the control points on the map in order to allow for respawns. You win the round when everybody on the enemy team has been eliminated. Another feature of the North Star Client, and my personal favourite, is the ability to customise your own games with some very fun settings. Everything is here from the base game, but with some new categories being exclusive to the client. I can't go over everything, but some of the settings include 
Turning off the kill boundary, disabling the epilogue, enabling first person executions, enabling regenerating titan shields, enabling classic rodeo, turning on the deadly ground, enabling Aegis titan upgrades, enabling pilot bleed out, and adjusting the air acceleration modifier! And that's not even half of the features. I'm glad Bob decided to do this, because now we get to see all the crazy game modes that the community gets to come up with. And I personally cannot wait. For the next portion of the video, I'm going to explain how you can download the North Star Client for yourself. Alright, first of all, what you want to do is you want to join the official North Star Discord. There will be a link down below in the description. Uh, once you join that, you want to head over to announcements. And the reason I say join the Discord is whenever a new release of the North Star Client comes out, you'll be able to see and you'll be able to install the latest version. Which in the future has been confirmed that there will be new updates, new patches. So yeah, once you do that, click on the link, head over to the website. And you want to download this zip file right at the bottom here. And once you do that, it'll take a second to uh, download. Once you've downloaded the latest release of the North Star, you want to take all of it and you're going to control C to copy. And then open your Titanfall folder. It's uh, different whether you're on Origin or Steam. But if you're on Origin, you go over to your games library. You right click it, you go manage and click browse local files. Then just head over, control V. Now I've already installed the latest release, so it's just gonna ask me to replace all file destinations. That won't appear for you if you're first downloading it. You just click yes. I'll take a second to download. And there it is. Uh, if you wanna launch the client, all you gotta do, right click and run as administrator. This command text will appear. And then you should be all good to go. Titanfall is going to load up. Okay, so once you load into North Star, you want to go under multiplayer and simply press launch North Star. And it will load you into the modded version of Titanfall 2. And there you have it. That is how you install the North Star client and play it. I'm going to close this video off by giving my final thoughts on the client and suggesting some general improvements that I believe could be made. I think that the North Star client is an incredible and innovative solution to the hacker situation and definitely is worth installing if you're playing on PC. Unfortunately, there is no solution for the DDoS attacks for console players, which is really sad to hear, but at least PC players can enjoy Titanfall 2 again. And because there are regular updates being made to the client, I would like to suggest a few of my own ideas. The first one is something I previously mentioned, and that is the ability to host normal private matches for your friends. Like I said earlier, not everyone can host custom servers, so this would just be a huge quality of life feature for people who are just looking to host games for them and their friends. As great as all the settings are, it would be nice also if we had the option to enable infinite tacticals and modify basic things like base walking speed and sprint. I don't know if this one would be possible, but a working spectator team where you can switch between both teams in a game would also be greatly appreciated. And finally, a way to save custom game modes would also be nice so we don't have to go through and adjust the settings for a game mode we came up with every time we want to play it. All we have to do is load up the pre-made game mode and bam, that's it. With all that said, there really is nothing left for me to talk about. So thank you all for watching, and until next time, this is Agent Mav, signing off.